Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss support vector machine in machine learning. Also, I will discuss what are the different type of uh, SVM algorithms are there and how SVM algorithm works. Support vector machine or SVM is one of the most uh, popular supervised machine learning algorithm which are used to solve the classification as well as regression kind of problems. So in this case, first we need to understand uh, what is uh, supervised here. Supervised means uh, in this case, so we need to give the label data as an input to this particular algorithm. And uh, what is classification? Classification problems are those where the target contains a discrete number of possibilities. For example, uh, if you want to solve a problem where we want to classify a mail as a spam mail or a not spam, in this case, we have only two possibilities. So such kind of uh, problems are called as classification problems. But if the target label contains uh, continuous values, such kind of problems are called as regression kind of problems. Uh, for example, let us say that we want to know the increase in salary of an employee based on his performance. In this case, uh, the increase in salary is a continuous in nature. Hence, such kind of problems are called as regression kind of problems. Usually, S uh, SVM or support vector machine algorithms are used to solve classification kind of problems in machine learning. The goal of SVM algorithm is to draw a baseline or a decision boundary to segregate the given data set into multiple number of classes. Once you draw that particular decision boundary, based on that particular decision boundary, we should be able to classify the new example into one of the classes over here. Now, this particular decision boundary is called as hyperplane in terms of uh, SVM algorithm. Now, the question comes in front of us is how to draw this particular hyperplane. Given a data set, let us say that we have been given this particular data set. In this case, uh, uh, we have uh, two classes, one is which is drawn in uh, blue color and another one is drawn in, you can say that green color. Now, uh, this particular data is linearly separable. We can draw a straight line and then we can separate this particular data into two classes. But uh, which one is the best uh, line over here or the best decision boundary? Because if you look at this particular diagram, I have drawn two lines one with uh, red color, another one with green color over here. Between these two, which one I supposed to select? So what we need to do over here is we need to draw all possible lines. The one which is having the best accuracy, that particular uh, line we need to select, that will be called as the hyperplane over here. The dimension of this particular hyperplane depends on the features present in that particular data set. For example, we have only two features. Let us say that we have X and Y. In such case, uh, we will be able to uh, draw a straight line and then we can classify that particular data. So in such case, uh, the hyperplane will be a straight line. But if you have more than uh, two data features, for example, we have three features or more than three features. In such cases, we cannot uh, uh, draw a straight line. We need to draw something called as uh, a plane or something like that. That will be called as uh, the hyperplane in this case or a two dimensional hyperplane over here. But very important thing is uh, we need to draw a hyperplane in such a way that we will get the maximum margin. I will discuss this particular maximum margin in detail at the later stage. Now, once you draw that particular hyperplane uh, while drawing, uh, we used to consider uh, two things over here. The one is, which is called as uh, the nearest uh, points on both the sides. OK, so for example, if you go with this particular uh, data set here, this particular point and this particular points are nearest for this particular hyperplane. So these two are called as the support vectors in this particular case. So for this one, this one is the nearest one and this is the second nearest one. This one and this one will be called as a support vector for this particular hyperplane. But based on uh, the maximum margin, we will select uh, between these two things. But end of the day, the one which is having nearest data point for that particular uh, hyperplane, that will be called as the support vector over here. Now, coming back to the next uh, part of our discussion, that is, uh, what are the different type of uh, SVM are there? There are mainly two types of SVM we have. One is called as a linear SVM. Another one is called as non-linear SVM. The linear SVM is one where uh, we can separate the data with the help of a straight line. For example, we have been given a data and we can separate that particular data with the help of a straight line. Such kind of uh, SVM is called as linear SVM. If we are unable to uh, draw a straight line to divide that particular data set into classes, such kind of uh, SVM is called as nonlinear SVM. For example, uh, I will consider one example to understand this linear SVM in detail. 
let us say that uh, this is a data set given to us in this case uh, one class of data is drawn with star color another set of uh, data is called as is drawn with uh, the circle over here now uh, this particular data can be separated with the help of straight line hence it is called as the linear SVM over here but the question comes in front of us uh, when we draw multiple number of uh, straight lines to separate this particular data which particular uh, straight line should be considered as a hyperplane over here so that can be understood with the help of this particular diagram what we do over here is for example if you consider D as a hyperplane for this one this one and this one will become the uh, support vectors over here so we need to draw a, a parallel line uh, which will touch this particular uh, support vectors and they are parallel to what we can say that our hyperplane and then uh, this distance we need to calculate so this distance you can say that it is uh, m1 similarly we have to do it for this particular b also for this particular b this will become one support vector and this will become another support vector we need to draw a straight line over here we need to draw a straight line over here i have drawn it here uh, correctly and then we need to calculate this particular margin over here now uh, let us say that this margin is equivalent to m2 now if you compare this m1 and m2 the margin m1 is smaller compared to this m2 so we can say that between these two this particular b is the best uh, line which will divide this particular data set into two classes over here so b will be considered as the hyperplane in this particular case over here but it may not be the case uh, all the time because we need to do it for all possible lines the one which will give you the maximum margin that should be considered over here the calculation of this particular uh, uh, maximum margin can be shown mathematically something like this let us assume that this is your uh, hyperplane and this is the first uh, support vector and this is a second sub support vector what, uh, what actually happens over here is uh, for this particular uh, hyperplane we will uh, write this particular equation that is uh, w into x plus b is equal to 0 now when I write something like this on this particular side on one side uh, for this particular uh, support vector we will get uh, w into x plus b is equal to minus 1 on another side we will get plus 1 if you go beyond this particular thing it will be less than minus 1 if you go beyond this side it will be greater than or equal to 1 over here because of that from here to here we will get distance 1 from here to here we will get distance 1 for each and every uh, what we can say that uh, uh, the support vectors so what we need to do over here is we need to get an hyperplane where we will get the maximum value for this particular condition that is uh, 2 divided by cardinality of w if you get this particular maximum value for that particular w should be considered as you can say that the final hyperplane over here the next type of uh, SVM is called as nonlinear SVM this nonlinear SVM uh, is one where we will not be able to draw a straight line to divide this particular data into two classes over here. If you look at this particular thing, if I draw anywhere a straight line, I will not be able to classify this particular data into two classes here. So what I need to do is I need to convert this particular data into what is that called as linear data. For that reason, uh, we can use something called as a mapping functions or something like that. In this case, uh, I have used one mapping function here that is z is equal to x square plus y square so when you do this particular thing on all these particular data points the data points will look something like this so all uh, green will go and sit over here all blue will go and sit over here so what we need to do we need to apply this particular function on the top of this one we will get another uh, axis that is called as z over here so x axis and z axis so for this particular data set definitely we can apply the linear SVM over here so again we need to draw all possible uh, uh, lines which will separate this particular uh, data into two classes and then uh, we need to uh, identify the one straight line which will give you the maximum margin and then that we need to consider here this is how the support vector machine works in machine learning I hope uh, you understood what is uh, support vector machine what are the different type of uh, support vector machines and uh, how support vector machine works in machine learning I hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends Press the subscribe button for more videos, press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.